Today we are making this apple pie that was my grandma's recipe. This apple pie is amazing. And I even did the lattice crust. So I am recording this with a voiceover because I had a lot of background noise this morning. So basically you need a 10 inch pie tin. And I'm using a foil one. And you need two pie crusts that are already pre-made from the grocery store. So the first thing you're going to do is take the pie crust and put it into the pie tin like this. And you're going to want to make sure it's even and a little bit of the edges are off of the side of the pan. Again, this is a 10 inch pie crust. It was the smallest one I could actually find at Walmart. And then just make sure that it's flat on the bottom. And then while you're doing this part, you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Okay, then we have a half a cup of butter that is already in the pan melting. We're going to add three tablespoons of flour to the butter as it's melted. And I'm not sure where I went in the video, but I will be right back. Okay, and here's all the apples. So I had nine small Granny Crisp apples. So you can use Granny, Granny Smith, which is a great for apple pie, or I like Sweet Tango. And because this was a 10 inch pie crust, I did nine apples. Cut them and peeled them before I got on this video, so you didn't have to watch me peel apples. Okay, so just put those in the pie crust until they are evenly distributed like this. Okay, and, and the butter is still melting. So now we're gonna take three tablespoons of flour. Doesn't that pie look good? And you need a whisk. I will link my favorite whisk to this. So just kind of melt that butter on there. I feel like my video is in slow motion, but I'm actually waiting for the butter to melt. kind of a slow process without burning the butter. Okay, now add three tablespoons of flour to the butter. So again, three tablespoons. And then you're gonna whisk that together. Okay, so now you we whisked the flour in with the butter and let that cook for about a minute or two minutes until it has a nice fragrant flavor. And then we're going to add a half cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of flour, and a fourth cup of water. And that is going to um, bring that to a boil. And then we're going to let that simmer for three to four minutes. Now I am looking for my pizza cutter to cut the pastry into the lattice strips. And I didn't locate it, so I am using another cutter that I have. So basically you're just cutting um, one of the pie crusts into the lattice part of the pie for apple pie. This tool is really sharp, so 
Oops, sorry, I had to stop and stir halfway through. So again, in the pan, we did the butter with the flour, and then we added a half cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a fourth cup of water. And while that is simmering, I'm taking the lattice crust and laying it over the top of the pie. So obviously the long skinny ones in the middle need to go over the fatter part of the pie. And you can break these if you need them. If you want to make your own crust in lattice, you sure can. I just find that the pastry crusts are just about the same taste wise that you can buy at the store. And I got these at Aldi's and I think they were two or three dollars. Again, and I'm stirring occasionally so that it doesn't get burnt. So we had brought that to a boil and then now we're going to bring it down to a simmer for three to five minutes just until it turns into a nice syrupy golden look. So this pie is unique because we will take the syrup that we're boiling on the stove and pour it over the top of the crust. And this is an absolutely wonderful pie. And it's a big pie, so it serves a lot of people with the 10 inch pie crust. So then you wanna go lattice the other way so you create the strips like traditional apple pie. And I kind of tuck the edges in on the edge so that you can kind of see, you know what I mean, on the ends of the pie. Okay, and then like I said, the oven should be at 425 to start with. Okay, so we have the lattice part done now. So now we're gonna take our pie mixture, just tuck in the edges. And then we are going to pour the syrup over the top of the pie, as you can see in this video. So as you can see, I'm pouring the sauce right over the top of the lattice crust. And then to then we're going to put it immediately in the oven. We're going to bake it for 15 minutes at 4, 7, 425. And then we're going to reduce it to 350 degrees and cook it for another 35 minutes. And you will have nice, beautiful apple pie. I do recommend that you store this in the refrigerator um, so that it sets up properly and serve with ice cream or whipped cream, and you will be the star of whoever you're making this pie for. They will absolutely love it. Just about got that poured on there. Again, 425, 15 minutes, reduce the heat to 350, and then bake for another 35 minutes, and you have lovely apple pie.